Hello everyone, my name is Nick, I hope you're well, and we're on the ZX Spectrum 48K, we're going to have a look at a game called Disco Dan, published by Gen Software in 1984. Now it's quite a strange one this, because although it's called Disco Dan, it involves no dancing at all, and I'm not even sure the guy's called Dan. Unusual music on this one as well to start off with. Yes, anyway. Um, the idea behind this game is broken into two parts, but Dan must deactivate decontaminated atomic fuel rods in the town. Um, part one, oh dear, I bumped into a line there. Now, part one is this, so watch your eyes. By pressing forward on the joystick, we jump over this red dotted thing and we avoid all the crazy stuff that's coming at us that sometimes look like smiley faces. There's one, but sometimes they look like um, dustbin lids. But we must go down this tunnel till we get to the end and then the next stage we have to jump across a bit like a Cuber clone I suppose onto rods but um, I'll explain that when we get to it if indeed we do. Exciting eh? So not one for people that suffer from fits this one, remember to keep blinking. There's a few games like this on the spectrum which would do you crazy. This looks a bit weird but anyway it's original we're running down a hallway of some nuclear disaster. I don't know who decorated this hallway, but some loony who probably got cheap magenta paint. But anyway, the tunnel never changes colour as far as I'm aware. We just keep going round and round and round and it gets more and more difficult in these two parts. Disco Dan, play your own disco music. Right, there's the end, boom. Now, now the Cuba bit. Right, okay. Now, all these discs have got numbers on, you will see. There's some sort of strange, crazy isotope thing up the top there I can fire to get to move along. He's trying to make everything go red, and I'm trying to make everything go green. Now, when I jump onto one of the discs, you'll see the number goes down by one, and you can represent it by the colour chart up the top there. So, five is white, six is red. Once it goes to red completed, we've lost. Once it goes to green completed, we've won that one. And by the end of the game, as long as I haven't lost all my lives by jumping on a, a red disc that's already um, finished, if you know what I mean, uh, it'd tell us who's won. So I've been making a pig's ear of this while I'm trying to be explaining it to you. But yes, you need to hop around here as quickly as you can. So I've already lost, well, five red discs there. I've jumped on a red disc that's already got no numbers on and that means I'm doomed. So, that disc on above me's got one on it, so I need to jump that to make that green. There we go. So I think I've won that one. But as you can see, there's more, a lot more red on the screen than green, so I am losing. Now if you go right round, then those two isotope things doing the discs, and um, yes, I'm losing. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this really well, but you get the hang of it with a few goes. Everything's red anyway, I'm losing. Right, that's green. Now, Matt, even if I won these last four discs, I'd still lose because I'm so outnumbered here. Yeah, I'm gonna die. You move in the direct, you point the uh, man in the direction you want to go on, and then forward, and then he'll go in that direction. One, one, that's green already. We're not gonna get off this stage. Anyway, we'll call this the practice go. The atomic fuel rods are hyper radioactive. I think the whole place is going to explode. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh, let's just admit defeat, I think. Right, that's three green. Yeah, he's got red. Right, so are there more reds on the screen or more greens? Have a count up. I think, I think red's just about one. I'm not sure. But he's still got a number, so that's still active. It's flashing. It won't be active in a minute. Oh man, why have mine gone blue again? Uh, right, there we go. I think I lost. I lost that one. But I got three points. Oh look, I get to go around again, do I? Anyway. So here we go. Round, round, get around. I get around. Bo -do -bo -do 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 -do. I get around. I'm getting tired of running down the same old corridor. Come on, stick man, sir. Keep going, keep going. 
I'll be ready for them next time. So it seems on the Cuba bit, as long as you get at least three of them green, you're you're good to go again. I I don't know how many we got to jump over now. Oops, we've been hit and it's game over. So the tunnel gets more chaotic each time round. We'll call that the practice go, as I've put in my amazing name, which is Nick, which I told you at the start and I've remembered it, so that's great. Go to. We know what we're doing now, we know what we're doing. So, why is it called Disco Dan? I don't know. You might have your own idea below, but um, being stranded in a nuclear power plant trying to decontaminate atomic fuel rods doesn't seem like the place I'd like to disco. But I might be wrong, each to their own really. What's the bar like? Right, so, walk down this crazy corridor, or run down the crazy corridor, forward on the joystick, jumps over these red lines. If you bump into them, you will lose a life. If you bump into any of this stuff flying at you, you will lose a life as well. Doesn't animate too badly here. If I had this game back in the day as a kid, I think it would have kept me entertained. Having the two levels, it's quite nice. If this stick man had been Horace instead of a stick man, I'd probably be raving about it like crazy right now, right now because I am very um, biased when it comes to that Horace dude. But it's a stick man. Disco Dan. This might have come from a recommendation. I think I wrote it on the list quite some time ago. So if you recommended it, then well done you. Here it is. It's not a classic game, but I think it's quite good. I quite like it. There's not much to it. That's ripped off Cuba a little bit here. But I'm glad they just didn't have Cuba and nothing else. And they got this bit as well. So as a kid, you would have felt that you're making some sort of progress. It does get progressively more difficult. It starts off easy enough, so that's a big thumbs up from me. A lot of Spectrum games started off way too difficult to um, to, to begin with, to be honest. Right, so let's try and win this thing now. Let's get more greens than reds. We're only against one of these isotope things, so we should be able to beat them. Check out that bar up the top there. If it's nearer, if it's all the greens showing, it's basically a bar representing the battlefield who's winning. Whatever's left at the end we get as a bonus, and we want the biggest bonus as possible. Right, I've already got one green, unless he deactivates that. There's one thing that's going red there. He's got two going red. Oh, anyway, he might have those, unless we can land on them quickly. It's hard to point the direction. No, that's flashing, that red one. Right, he's got that. Oh, man. Come on, let's keep stuff green. Keep stuff green. Keep stuff green, right, it's freak four green. Oh, that's gone white, that's... Oh, man. I've got hit by radioactivity here. I don't think this is my kind of game, folks. I'm just going to keep moving. Hopefully I'll get lucky. Come on, come on. Don't stop moving, S Club 7 said. Oh, man, don't keep doing that. Lost a life. Woo! Come on, Disco Dan. More discoing. I don't think he'd survive very long after this. We could try and get a surprise victory out of this. So, do you understand what's going on? If you don't, let's recap. Each of these discs has got a number on it. So, say it's got four on it. When I jump on it, it will go to three. So, see those yellow ones? If I jump on that, it will go um, purple next. I need to get it to zero to make it to go permanently green while this isotope thing is trying to do the exact opposite and to make everything go red. Once everything's either red or green, it'll work out what, how much stuff is left in terms of that bar at the top and we get a bonus. Any clearer? Well, I, I don't know how else I can explain it. Read the instructions. This thing can be chucked on its way by firing at the thing, but you can't kill it completely. Oh man, you lose energy if you land on a red thing. Well, you lose your potential bonus, I should say. Sound on this is a little bit annoying, but we're doing a lot better than last time. Come on, let's just keep going backward and forward. We can land that. What's going on now? Oh, I, I lost lives, did I? Right, okay, so we've got a whole new bar now. He exhausted that before. Right, that's all green up there. Good, right. Let's green up, as they say. Oh, man. 
It's quite frustrating this now. There seems to be an overtaking of red sit oh, to God my worldly. Get me out of here. Curse you. Right, okay, come on, let's get to the end of this thing. Send him on his merry way. So put him there. There's only two Oh man, there's only two left in play at the moment. Right, that's it. Come on. Get that four to a three. Three. Get it to a two. Yes. Get off here. Get it to a, come on. Get it to one. Right, get it to zero. And that's that's what bonus I've got left. And it's back to the tunnel, folks. To the tunnel. Exciting stuff, eh? I don't think this has been made into a film. So now there's more stuff coming down the tunnel, heading towards us to try and kill us. But Disco Dan uses his disco feet and he will be victorious again or he might die on level 2. Now if you had this game back in the day, let me know how far you got. Let me know if the tunnel does in fact change colour past a certain distance. I'll be very interested to know that one. I'm not quite sure what other systems it come out on. 1984 probably come out on the Amstrad CPC and the Commodore 64, but I do not know that for definite, or if it come out on any other 16-bit systems. It's a it's a bit of a curio this one. I'd have liked to have had it in my collection back in the day. I wouldn't have been too disappointed if I've actually bought this with my pocket money, because it is quite interesting. Right, quick glass of water before I lose my voice. Weaving, that's what it's all about. Backward, forward. Kids wouldn't like this nowadays, and I don't think there'll be an HD remake. Some people might think, Nick, I thought this was the HD remake. Well, surprise, surprise, no it isn't. This is still the 8-bit ZX Spectrum. Hooray! And we've got to the end of the tunnel again. Back to Q-Bert territory. Come on, Q-Bert. And now, you'll see there's two of these isotope things to try and turn the things red quicker than I would like. So we've got a game on here. Bumping into them won't kill you, just landing on red discs will kill you. Come on. I mean, it starts off in their favour with lots of, lots of white ones around. That's only one away from red. Come on, lad. This is real disco. Maybe it's called disco because it's like Saturday Night Fever where the floors, floor lights change colour when you step on them, perhaps. I don't know. It happened in that Michael Jackson video as well, didn't it? Billy Jean. Dun, 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 dun. I don't think this game had Billy Jean in mind. Right. Lots of green showing up here, despite being against two of the Smeggers now. Come on, you're not going to win. You're not going to win. Yeah, come on then, come on. Going good, going good. Oh! They're mucking up my lovely green stuff. It, 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 what strange noises they make. Some kind of alien language, I'd imagine. Get off! You're not... Get off my groovy train. My groovy train. Oh man, this is doing my head in this game now. This will probably be my last go. We won't go round again. Oh man, we, we seem to be slowly winning. Controls are the... Oh man, the controls are your biggest weapon against you here. There's bits I'm probably doing wrong. But this is the first time I've played this game. Big surprise. Um, but the idea is, as we all know, to get you a bit of an idea what the game would have been like on your first or second play, and would you decide it as a kid whether you'd go back to this game or not? Uh, my verdict is, I would go back to the game. Hooray! Despite the frustrations going on at the moment, it's been a nightmare against more than two of these things. We want this to be a green day. Right, just got this triangle left here. I'll just move, keep moving in a triangle movement. I'll win, won't I? Come on, back the other way. Yeah. Now one left. One left, and then it'll be a huge victory for Team Nick Jinkin. Up here. Boo! Oh man, I thought it was going to go green then, it went blue. Boomer! Take that, alien horde. Yeah, radioactivity is quite dangerous, so I, I wouldn't mess with it if I was you. Probably best to do something else. Jump. Good. He's flying along. Quicker than Usain Bolt. Oops, avoid that mob. The smiley faces are a bit like a homing missile in this one. They will look 
out for you and try and get you. I don't know if you work in a nuclear power plant. Uh, is life a bit like this sometimes when it goes mental? Oh, it's game over again. Well, I hope you liked having a look at that one. I enjoyed it. It was Disco Dan, which involved no discoing, on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by Gem Software in 1984. Got any memories of this game, any thoughts, or anything retro or Spectrum, then please put uh, your comments below. You're always more than welcome. Uh, big thanks to everyone that subscribed to the channel so far. It really helps it grow and move forward, and helps with the YouTube algorithm as well to help other people find it, so thank you there. If you want to help a bit more, there's patreon.com slash njenkin. Every bit really does help, and I give a shout out to patrons each month, if that's the sort of thing you're after. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.